What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another character showcase video. All right, so I kind of wanted to showcase some of the older units that I used to use quite a bit. And Proxima is one of those. I remember when she got this uniform, I really, really liked her skills and she did really good damage. So she was definitely like one of my staple characters that I was using in World Boss when this uniform came out. Um, as more and more units came out, of course, I started just rotating into other characters. But I just, I don't know, I just really remember always liking Proxima and remembering she was really good. But is she still any good now? So that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to be showcasing her. She hasn't gotten any noticeable upgrades or changes since this uniform came out. And it's been quite a while. So yeah, did this uniform stand up or not? And yeah, let's go over the build here. So we have just a couple of Urus on her. Nothing too crazy. Uh, back in the earlier times, I, isn't, I didn't really build my characters up too much. Like um, I basically would just give them like a... Uh, damage proc obelisk was for the most part and then when ctps came out i would be very very kind of picky with who i gave ctps to uh, but now i seem to put it on any new character that just looks good if i have an extra ctp <laughs> so anyway proxima here um everything leveled up except for the first skill might as well level that up let's just let's just max our skills why not um type enhancement we need to have at type two we have fully awakened power of angry hulk uh, we do not have an artifact on her, and she does have a CTP of energy, so you could tell I liked her because back when she came out, and I just mentioned I was pretty uh, picky with my CTPs, I gave her one, and it has not left her since, so it survived all of the unequip events and everything like that when I generally go back and kind of comb through some of my characters that I never use anymore and just unequip CTPs. And uh, her uniform is at Mythic here for the Black Order. Or Black Obsidian, excuse me, or Dark Obsidian, what am I talking about here? Um, and the details, we are maxed out on pretty much everything that we need to be maxed out on. We've got our crit rate or crit damage, attack speed, ignore defense, and our skill cooldown. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and hop into some content, because I'm really curious to see how Proxima is going to perform now. All right, so here we are over at King Stage 9 using the normal team that we do in our showcases here. Uh, Proxima actually has a pretty good leadership as well. That Ignore Dodge can really come in handy, especially for characters that are at level 70, because uh, they don't get that extra kind of just buff being a higher level than the boss, and it kind of naturally ignoring Dodge. So having that for a leadership really comes in handy for well if you're doing higher stages of war boss legend here you can of course go ahead and do that uh but also for conquest um just some of the later sectors in conquest having dodge ignore is very handy <laughs> especially when you have some of those restrictions coming in so yeah she gets a lot of use with that leadership uh, but we're going to be using the same team here. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got all of our dodge ignore strikers, which helps to balance the field when I'm testing out level 70 and level 80 characters to kind of get more of a just raw damage comparison. Uh, because I mentioned earlier, when you're level 70, the boss can dodge you a lot more often. And I don't want those dodges. I want to see what her damage actually is compared to a level 80 or just compared to any of my other characters in general. Um, all right. So was her rotation was this. Yeah, that was her rotation. I think we got stunned out of that skill. That was no damage. There we go. That was... Yeah, he keeps canceling my skill. <laughs> we started to get a little bit of damage there, but then... All right, I want to get one normal. Why is her skill... What is going on? Why is my fourth skill getting canceled out every single time I use it? I don't understand. Oh, wait. Was her fourth skill... Was her fourth skill a charge skill? It was a charge skill. See, it's been a while. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. So what is our damage going to look like? Normal rotation, charge the fourth skill. Not bad, actually. That was a couple bars. I'll take that. Boom, boom, boom. Charge it up. Yeah, she didn't take too much damage there. All right, so now we want to do boom, boom. Oh, I did that wrong. Ooh, or tier three still hits pretty hard as well. Um, all right. Well, hold on. Let's let's try that again. 
So it was at a minute and uh, 20 seconds to get there. And I was kind of just butchering her skill rotation because I forgot that she had a charge skill. Probably should have double checked that <laughs> before starting the, the video here. But let's give her one more, uh, one more try against King here. All right. Okay, not bad. Oh, I keep keep wanting to do the stupid third skill first. That is incorrect. We need to do the fifth skill first. Need to get that third skill out of my head. So Yeah, if the whole thing hits, it's like God, I keep doing Luckily, we didn't get punished there that time, but I keep doing... Yeah, it's like two bars when we actually hit it. I keep doing the wrong rotation. All right, so let's test out the tier three. Yeah, there we go. Tier three definitely looks pretty good. Hey, I mean, that was less than a minute. She's still doing pretty good damage. She is still doing pretty good damage. Yeah, but that fourth skill seems very, uh, very touchy here against King. I don't know if for some, whenever he like raises in the air with that red circle, it seems to lose targeting because yeah, the skill just kind of gets canceled. He's not in an iframe or anything like that. He's just hovering off the ground, no iframe. So I'm not sure what's going on with the targeting there. Her targeting definitely seems off against Kang which is interesting. So what can we do here? Okay, female, so we can go up to stage 29. Um, yeah, all right, let me, let me build the team here for her real quick. Yeah, so that king fight, I don't know. I'm not really uh, happy with the results of that because she seems very unrunnable there just because of the inconsistency with her fourth skill getting canceled out. Um, because you do have to hold that fourth skill to get that damage. As you as you saw from my uh, mistake there at the very start, her damage was very bad when I just tapped the fourth skill. You definitely need to charge it up. And having it canceled, that's basically 90% of her damage just gone. Okay, that's not bad. Ooh, there we go. That was... That was a lot better. Why did that do so much more damage? Hmm. That was interesting. Oh, dupe. Okay, there we go. There's some damage. Very nice. Can go right back into this. Charge it up. Haha. Yeah, it hurt. Oh, no, oh, we got uh, time frozen. For some reason there. What was that? What did we get time for? Oh, was there one of the sigils on the ground that I didn't notice? Um I don't know. I'm, I'm still liking her. Her damage is still good. And actually it's really good. She did that in a minute's time, so she definitely cleared this without any issues. Um, we are using some damage uh damage, some dodge ignore strikers, of course, because of her level 70 status, but I mean, if she just got a level 80 and not even, like, a new uniform or anything, I think her damage would be really good. Like, I expect it to be pretty top tier. Um, that, however, is an issue. So, if she gets a new uniform, they need to fix this uh, fourth skill not... Ow. Uh, not targeting... Or getting canceled out, I guess. Uh, very easily. Because she gets guard broken. She apparently loses targeting if the boss moves up in the air even if they're not getting physically farther away from her they're just kind of hovering up so that still kind of should be the same targeting but i don't know very very weird and awkward with that uh fourth skill so let's move over to world boss legend because uh dormammu he's not moving very much so he's gonna be sitting in play so we don't have to worry about the fourth skill not uh targeting him so let's go ahead and grab our team here all right, found her, so we are good to go. Let's hop in, see what she does here to Dormammu. I'm very curious to see what she's going to do in that second phase. Also in the first phase here, but based off her World Boss of Legend uh, results here, I don't really expect her to struggle with the first phase. 
Uh, of course, watch me get proven wrong here, but... No, that... Ah, that looks pretty good. Ow. She got moved with the blast there. She needs some kind of, I guess, guard break immunity or invincibility or something on one of her skills. So that definitely seems to be coming into play uh, quite a bit here. I don't know if just over time, more and more of the bosses are now um, doing attacks like guard break, whereas they weren't in the past. But it is a big issue having her fourth skill so easily guard broken and cancelled. I think I might not be Yeah, letting the fifth skill play out long enough. Is that what's going on? Yeah, I think I get more damage when I let the fifth skill uh go on for a little bit longer. Alright, so we can just go ahead and finish him off here with the tier three and that was yeah i mean just over a minute i'm very happy with those results for the first phase uh, but the second phase here is the one i'm most interested in so can we do a bar of damage or more that is the question and we can so that is ah good news um she definitely does not handle those uh, flame blasts uh, very well because she almost got killed that first time we got hit by one of them. Um, she's doing more than a and more than a bar. She's doing bar and a half, sometimes a tiny bit more than a bar and a half. So yeah, she can she can actually perform well here against Dormammu. Uh, what is Dormammu today? Combat type. It doesn't really matter since she's universal. But ah, no, get out of the skill. Uh, but she can. Yeah, I think she's a viable option here against Dormammu. I mean, look at this damage. She can definitely do a more than a third of the damage to Dormammu if you're using her as your main DPS. I do not see an issue with her doing more than a third of the damage. And with Dormammu, of course, like I said, not moving around much, her fourth skill is not getting canceled out. So you can just use the fourth skill and actually see her damage. <laughs> Tier three, one, two and a half. So tier 3 didn't look like a huge improvement from a normal rotation. It was like one extra bar. Which I guess is quite a bit actually. One extra bar when you're only doing a, a bar and a half to go to two and a half. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty nice. Uh, yeah, she she's going to kick Dormammu's ass. <laughs> look at her go here. I mean, this is just... She could basically solo him almost, it looks like. I don't know if she'll quite have the damage... 26 bars in 7 minutes. Um, I mean, she should be able to do that. One more tier 3 here. Uh, that one was a little bit less. Ah, that's going to... Oh, we got a nice heal there. What was her passive? She got a heal. Huh. Oh, she has continuous healing. Wait, she has continuous healing? Hmm, I didn't remember that. Um, yeah, so that is Proxima here. Looking... Quite quite good, actually, except for, that, like I said, that one issue with the fourth skill. So you're probably not going to be able to use her against Kang. But the other bosses, I, don't know. I think she can do pretty well there. And as you can see here, she was doing really well against Ormamu. Better kind of than I thought she was going to do for that uh, second phase. Yeah, so that is going to be Proxima. Um Digging her up from the past here, and let me let me just see where was that uh, what was that healing coming from? Uh, okay, they just recover ten percent for two seconds. Okay, so it'll keep ticking away for the healing. And oh, and there's the passive: recover forty percent HP when your HP is below forty percent. It's on a 90 second cooldown though. Oh, and that's how she gets her only source of invincibility. Oh no, she has invincibility on the fifth skill? Then why is she... Oh, because it's for three seconds. That three seconds is going to be up by the time you get to the fourth skill. So yeah, move that invincibility to the fourth skill. That would, uh, that would be a lot better. So you can give the damage immunity to the fifth skill. I think you should switch those two. Hmm. Anyway, that is uh, Proxima here. Again, 
I'm very happy with her performance. Let me know if any of you are still using her um, nowadays because she's still a very strong option if you're uh, probably doing some of the older War Boss Legends bosses like Null, it looked like she was going to do quite well against. Um, and then just fun for Giant Boss Raid. If you want a different character, change up pace, use someone else, try out Proxima. I don't think you'll regret it, uh, especially if you already have her built because I do have a, like I said, a CTP of energy on her. Right now, I think with a regular damage proc, she could probably still do okay, but she does have, she can cancel three skills. So she is taking advantage of that chain hit damage. So I don't know, but that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed. And of course I will catch you in the next one.